Hello and welcome to Snowtopia Early Access here at Raw Slow Gaming. It's finally here, January 26th of uh, 2021 and oh boy are we going to play this game and so excited too. I've taken a sneak peek at, well, the new game menu really and changing the settings and I'm going to jump in to new game to show you what is new and take us through Snowtopia here uh, in a let's play series. I will show you the basic of the game and play this game for a long time and I hope you will enjoy your stay and uh, play it with me really so to say. But let's drop in to the menu then for new game and the first thing we see here we got new maps. We got seven maps. We got two in the open alpha version. So we got five new maps to explore. And we also got some difficulty score on them. And so many interesting things here. So obviously there's a difficulty score to them. As I said, we have played Mount Alpha and Frozen Peak in the open alpha. After that, we got Crater Lake, which obviously has a huge lake in a crater, White Canyon, Volcano Heights, Wavy Valley and Four Faces. And they have different uh, criteria for the difficulty. Uh, access to ski zones, I guess higher is bad. Slope type diversity, again, I guess higher is bad. Ground homogeneity, building and proportion and obstacle density. So. That's deciding how hard things are. Mount Alpha has, well, the lowest of everything, so the easiest. We are going to try Crate Lake here and see what that is all about. And uh, yeah, we'll start the game and uh, see what it's all about. Well, we know what it's all about. We've been playing this for quite the time in the open alpha version, but as is here, it's a whole new menu and we get a little bit of a tutorial. I've turned off the tutorial, but we will show you everything that is new and uh, things like that. So you do have a little bit of a tutorial here starting out. So camera zoom, camera movement, rotation we already did, open game help. So that's fine. And away we go No. Uh, burn not the tutorial will still come up. I probably didn't press apply on it. So and Builders Dodge is something new and is the first thing we actually need. So let's follow the tutorial here for a bit. So open the build menu and this is something that sort of confused me in uh, well another version of the game that I, I played. Uh, but Builders Lodge uh, and this still need to be connected, as you see here, to uh, to a slope, which is uh, I don't know what to call it really. To be honest, the question is also: Do we want to start there, uh, overlooking the beautiful mountain uh, lake or crater lake? I think we do. Uh, the reflection there seems to be a little bit off in some uh, instances, but. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good starting point. Where are the other three villages or starting points? Uh, in better places for a ski resort, to be honest. But uh, we'll start here. So uh, we will place you really close to this. Uh, we'll rotate you. Rotate. Yeah, I know. There we go. No, 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 come on. All right, so that's obviously a bit frustrating, <laughs> but uh, there you go. And then we assign volunteers this way. A new menu has been done here. Uh, it's a little bit more, yeah, yeah, whatever colors and you see a little bit more clear what is happening and of course you can open and close the builder lodge i guess uh, if you take away the volunteers you maybe can close it 
So that's the first thing down. That's the first thing you need to do no matter where you are starting. Next up after that is build a ski lift, build a scope, and get your read your first gears and select the skier. So let's uh, do that too or have a look at that. So one thing that is new that I kind of want to build first really and skip the tutorial there a little bit is a research lab. We have six volunteers available to us only, but they come in a different way now. Uh, they come in, uh, well, in a ma matter of minutes. It depends on the time rather than the number of skiers. Uh, so that's probably something that is better than it was before, but probably also something that is going to get balanced throughout the, the early access version. I know it wasn't perfect in uh, in uh, the private test of it, so to say. Uh, can we fit in you here? Yeah, we can. So uh, can I, I won't like that, but yeah, right. So if you, yeah, like that. And uh, rotate. You can do it. You can't do it. Yes, exactly like that. All right. Guess not. Uh, let's try that again. I'm fine with that then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly. We need to get that built. Uh, also, everything is built now by the builder, so everything is taking a little bit of time as you build it, so that's also very new. But what shows do we have here for a lift? We got one person fixed grip surface toe and two person fixed grip share lift. So basically, a surface lift and a share lift, small ones. But uh, we will start with a small surface a lift because that is what you probably start your resort with if you're not like in the Alps or something and doing something sort of crazy. Uh, we're not really doing that so well, this is pretty crazy edge of the world stuff here but uh, we will start off in this direction then actually uh, because we will have a show here how I was thinking that the lifts were able to go a short distance before, but uh, it's even worse here actually in the early access version, at least for the uh, first lifts. Too long, yeah. So we'll start like that. And uh, yeah, do remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying the episode. And make sure to hit that subscribe button too if you enjoy it and want to stay around. More Snowtopia is going to come here for uh, years to come, really, to be honest. We will follow this game 100% into full release whenever that may be. So, we'll place down a run too here. Uh, we will place down a narrow run here beside it on the other side. Uh, as you see here, the, as I said uh, before also, both the, the lift and the runs are actually taking some volunteers to build it. So that's uh, also new. I actually don't know one that's what the uh, rating these got. Oh, yeah, that's not real saying. Uh, the overlays, overlays, there we go, slope difficulty. Yeah, I don't know, but it looks like something been waiting for. Yeah, I know, I know. Frontiers, yeah. So this is obviously 67% down here. So we can, of course, speed up the game. So we're going to do that. And then we'll have a look at the research, because that's obviously a new thing. Uh, so we will go a little bit slower on that actually. Now uh, we will assign two volunteers here so we can do that and we'll have a look here at the research tab. 
And you actually have, oh, an overview tab there too that you can get to somewhere. I guess it's this tab that you can come to by clicking on that. Uh, so maintenance services, which is new visitors. We have some visitors already or in the queue here to get in. Snowstruck Lover Sports Club, <laughs> Club Kids uh, and uh, New Fallen Snow. So a new category of skier there, I believe. Research and a resort. Yeah. So the resort and you can unlock things. I guess this is pretty much the same thing as it was before, how it was unlocked. See your profiles, three out of 12, fulfill their things. And uh, zero out of 600 visitors. Welcome new skiers to increase this limit. Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway, research. Research planning. You see, it's a pretty big research tree, actually. Uh, you can't zoom out, so it's a little bit hard, or actually quite really hard to have an overview on it. But you can get lifts up to here, for example, six person detachable chairlift. That's pretty epic. And a 12 person gondola, the biggest gondola in the game. Uh, panoramic restaurant so you can obviously get things with food and things services here so that is something we're going to look at later but we really want something bigger like two person fixed group surface tow for example uh, so we are going to focus here on lifts first ski towels yeah we want that to go faster can we queue? We can queue things. That's actually good. One issue here might be though that this is too easy to research, which is also sort of red in the, the, the version before this, that you just can spam it up and, and it will do it for you. So that's pretty not good in a way. Uh, but that's fine. Is this open? And no, we don't have any volunteers. So it's closed. Now it's open. This is open. And this actually came in as green. And this actually came in as blue signposting. And we can change that, I guess. Yeah. And you actually have the, the balance of it all, I, I guess. So this is over 50% green, but we're still saying it's blue because it has a little bit of a blue in it. And this is 90 plus percent green. Yeah, max gradient, average gradient, minimum gradient. And yeah, we get in general just a lot more information here and overall a nicer UI and things like that. And we have quite a queue directly here to our resort, which is always nice. A select us here, we'll do that. And we'll just click that away. If you wanted to read that, uh, just pause it. I'll not read that too much. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. Display skier history. All right, let's uh, aim the camera. Aim camera. No, not what we wanted to do. We want to do that. Skier history. There we go. So the animation here do look a little bit nicer. I do still love the graphic or the artistic style that I have gone for in, in this game. Really love it and uh, I think they are on the right track there. And we do have a queue problem. I know you're too many skiers coming here. I can't make you go faster as such, which is a problem. Uh, another thing that is going to be a problem here, I guess, is uh, snow groomer and mechanic. So the first thing we probably need is a snow groomer rather than mechanic. But both things are going to be needed. 
and we kind of want to pull that back here to the side to be honest uh, don't really want to create runs that will block it though but let's see here snow groomer hanger can we get that in somewhere like that can get that in like so so we'll I guess we'll do it like that uh, I kind of want this to be free so we can later be in with the lift up there that's the plan and the next thing is going to be a yeah, lift up here but we want to be doing a bigger lift than a surface lift there high altitude food chusk well i don't really want to do that because we don't have any high altitude anything at the moment so that's a bit frustrating a little bit too easy or too early to suggest that i would say uh, we have uh, done two um, I don't quite understand this why it's a little bit green, but I guess it's due to that it's something almost done. Well, not almost done, but we have uh, started to. Yeah, obviously, we need this much research to unlock the next tier. And. Uh, that's probably a little bit too easy to to the game balance as such, but uh, overall it's it's very nice. Slopes, we still have three sizes of slopes, narrow, normal, and large. Lifts are many more. Uh, maintenance, we have the uh, snow room that we just built mechanics that we had before. Mechanics is for fixing uh, lifts and things. Snow room is for taking care of the runs. Ski Petrol is new, so apparently we can have uh, in ears to our skiers, I guess, something like that. So basically, well, hospital and uh, help. So that is something that is going to be needed. And then we have services, which is nice. And I guess this is uh, trees that we haven't unlocked yet. So we'll see what is going to happen there. Reputation is new we have reputation for our research and we click here to see skiers profile details so we'll we'll do that uh, number of profiles three so yeah this is it uh, we can unlock things like that but skiers profile yeah not quite sure how we see these actually or you pressed on them or something like that all right i guess we we'll see more here and better here in uh, in the visitor tab so t satisfaction overall for our research is about 65 percent and it's evenly divided the number of skiers here energy is going down challenge and security is going up a little bit i guess so security too i guess that's maybe coming from uh, yeah ski petrol lodge no volunteers assign yeah it's fine let's assign two um, we're actually kind of full done don't really want to do that i want to place in a ski petrol lodge that was the tiniest little thing. That's nice though. Probably with Q, yeah. Let's uh, speed the game up here a little bit again. So we got that done. Will that automatically unlock the four person fixed grip shell lift with the load responsive grip or not? I don't know. But we will see. Come on. Now we still need to research that, and that's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, I would like to cancel that. Yes. All right. 
Let's change the order like that. So as you see here, it's just, I can, can uh, queue pretty much everything here and it's just getting sort of done uh, pretty fast. Uh, we can then, can we do upgrades? Because I think, I think we had a possible upgrade here. And as you see here, now this needs to be repaired. So we actually need a mechanics workshop here too. Uh, yes, you will be placed there. Yeah, you will be waiting. I wonder, did we do get the upgrade here or was it a possible upgrade? Sea toes. Or is it just automatic that they get 20 meters extra speed? It seems faster, to be honest. Max speed, 128 meters per hour. Yeah, it has an upgrade here of 20 meters plus speed. So I guess that's were nice in a way. So we'll get this built, we'll get this research done, which it is now. Volunteers here. So new research for present fixed grip shell lift is done. So we will place in uh, one more lift here and uh, maybe a run or two before leaving off in this episode. But uh, don't worry, it's going to be back to back episodes here pretty much on uh, the 26th here to show you more of the game. So, four person chairlift. So you also got some stats to the lift. I guess that is how much this years will, will kinda get back energy. Heat, you're losing the same everywhere. Appeal is minus 30, so quite high here for the four person fixed shell lift. And somehow this is the same length, the same everything pretty much, but this has only 50% more capacity per hour than the two person shell lift. It should be double up really, but uh, it's not the case. So. 250 meters is the max this lift can go. It's still a little bit crazy or fun, so to say, and the, the length that these can go. And I can place it there in a very interesting place as such. connect that in an interesting way or intriguing way down the line I think here going being able to go up here with uh, with a lift or two coming down here and uh, trying to be smarter with our lift placement and everything than we have been in the past but yeah this is going to be really good allowing us to get in uh, more skiers and more head skiers we are going to go with a main run uh, back here. And we're going to take uh, a gentle curve. Uh, we are aiming to get this pretty blue. I myself uh, really enjoy blue to red runs. So getting in a blue run here as a base or yeah, a base run, one of our, well, it will be our main attraction as of right now. We'll get in like that. And that's nice. I think we'll kind of do a narrow one. Will we do it from there? I wonder. I kind of want to do it there directly off, but not 
too crazy because I might want to pull another one uh, just like that too. But I, yeah, just want to go with it. Nothing too crazy, but a bit more narrow. So something like that. Is that looking nice and is that like how I wanted it to look? Not really, to be honest. But will we let it be there? Yeah, I think we will. And uh, we will push the game forward here a little bit so we can see how this works out and have a look at one skier down this slope. So full speed ahead here and obviously we've got issues here with capacity, which is an ever going issue here with this game and also the skier kind of go crazy here in this area, but that's fine. So volunteers to this lift. And this is almost done. So we are going to get in pretty perfect timing here for when uh, the first guests come off here. And that's going to happen really soon here. And there we have the first gear coming down this lift. Oh, come on. All right, let's pause it. We'll watch one in this group instead too. So let's uh, see here. So this is a snowstruck lover, the blue one. Sport, challenge, comfort. Comfort is good, environment not that great. Challenge is going up here, so getting happier, I guess. Uh, but yeah, coming down here, our resort in a pretty nice run, a pretty good, nice overlook here of uh, this decent run, together with the beginner area there with the surface lifts. And uh, yeah, good start to this save, good start to the game and overall just happiness all around, so to say, to finally play Snowtopia Early Access and finally be able to show it to you guys. Uh, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you here soon again, or to see you here very soon again, so to say, and see you in the next episode that should be out pretty much uh, directly as you're seeing this. Anyway, bye bye and see you later. You have been watching Rosco Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.